Salutations! Welcome to my own brothers. Featuring Tom. a sack of hey. skin. Well, you can't really see me because this microphone is trying to. We have so much technology catch hiding Tom us. too. So much. Welcome to welcome to Tom. Special guest, Tom Burger. Still around. Yeah. Keeps showing up. Still alive. As you can see, uh, I have my knees are still here. Many people were saying in the discourse that they were gone, but they're here. I think some of the people watching this might not know what you're talking about. So oh, we should yeah. explain we walked, why your knees might be missing. We walked from Griffith Park to Santa, Santa Monica, Monica Pier. Pier. Well, if you don't know what that means, that means we walked across all of Los Angeles. 16 yeah. miles. It was pretty hot. You know, and today, it would have been way worse if we did it today. It was so hot today. Yeah, it would have been good. Yeah, it was. We're lucky when we did it. We also did it on Pride Day when everyone was out in all of Los Angeles. They also closed fun. down part of the road, so it was really quiet for that part of the walk. Spilled your coffee. Major disaster I in the studio. I didn't still have the lid on. Your reflexes are it's, failing. You're going to be sad if you lose your coffee. Action-packed reflexes, unlike uh, Kurt Russell. Mm, I don't think it's so. It's all movies. in the reflexes. I don't think so, Tim. That's true. But anyway, um, but anyway, we walked across LA. It was a bad idea. I <laughs> voted that tonight we watched. That was, it was your idea. I My idea for tonight was, was. to watch Star Trek Next Generation. And That's Jeff, a good idea. Jeff and Tom were like, let's record podcast Dude, episodes. Their dog is dogging. <laughs> Frank is tired. Frank is here. I don't know if you can see him because my feet might be blocking him. There is his head. Frankie went to Wagville yesterday, the doggy daycare, where he, he came back over. depressed. Yeah. No, he came back tired. He gets exhausted doing Yeah, well, all day he's just been depressed. It's not depression. He's falling asleep because he can't stay up. Every time we would take him to Wagville, he plays the whole time with all these dogs, so he's, like, really tired. He falls asleep in the car Did they say instantly. that he played with the dogs? Yeah, they, they give you a whole report card and everything. I can look the... I watched the webcam last night. I was watching him play with dogs, and I watched him this morning before I picked him up. Was he, he playing with dogs, or they were just throwing him around like a football? They all follow the guys in the room around because I think they're all expecting trees and then he like walked right. he ran off with another dog for a second he played with like Titus and Phoebe and all these other dogs they list like his best friends for the weekend who he like hung out with the most uh -huh. <laughs> did, like, where did he sleep dog. He had, they each have their own bed that line the wall and then there's a play area in the middle and they all go to their beds whenever they want and they sleep. They all go to bed at night, but then in the daytime they can rest and then they play for most of the day so he ends is up someone playing. there at night when the dogs there's are someone alone? there the whole time yeah. Is somebody always playing with the dogs and everything? No, they all go to bed at a certain time. But huh. every time he comes back, he's, his eyes close as soon as he gets in the car. He just falls asleep in the car. And he's doing that today. It sounds an awful lot like prison. No, it, they get like a rec time. Yeah, like if you get time. free food rec and get to play time. all the time. Report to their bed. And they're they're report, rep, to report to bed. I should mention Wagville in Los Angeles. It's a great place for doggy, a doggy daycare. It's a great daycare. place for dogs. It's, a, it's $50 a night. It's like an advertisement. Really cheap. This, this three years ago, it was the same price. This podcast not sponsored by Wagville. Maybe Point. someday Jeff and can get Point. $50. Point so first. yesterday we Maybe did you could go stay there, Seth. Uh, 50 bucks a night. More you than know I what? Afford. Here's a, jo a, jo a job for you. Instead of picking up cans and walking dogs, you can be one of the people who sleeps in a room mm. with a dog. They pay you to go to sleep in a room with a dog at Wagville. It must be hard to get. Rich people job. or people who want someone with their dog at all times, you can have a private room for your dog and someone will sleep with the dog. So it's not alone. It must be hard to get that job. Yeah, because a lot of people probably want to do it. You just gotta love. I don't think so. Let me tell you something. Last night I had some food. Oh, that sounds nice. First it was, time for everything. It was, yeah. <laughs> it was healthy food, and it's something I hadn't had in a long time. That was probably time. one of the funniest things Tom's ever said. Not that said. it was healthy. It's a plus joke. Wait, I don't mean to cut you off, but what is the joke Paul always says that Tom, that Tom's one good joke? We can't remember. We that nobody can remember. We need to remember that joke. So, but, when, so when that joke strikes, you'll never know. <laughs> Last we'll night, remember for the next episode. I ate that food, and after the walk, I sh I treated Tom to a surprise. He was giving me burps, and I blew one on the bed. It was awful when he was stuck up in the bunk bed. I've his never legs were inoperable. I've never been able. I've ne like, never had this happen where somebody's burped in my face, and I think just the way and you had a panic attack. I had a panic attack. I think the way that I was breathing, I like inhaled as <laughs> yeah, he kept going. I taste it. I, could, I taste yeah, it. I could actually taste it. 
And it was like in my, it was in my nostrils, but it isn't like the back of my throat. You've stuff, never, too. you've it never, was disgusting. You never experienced Chepid's yeah. infamous kale burps. It was yeah. awful. Kale burps are unearthly. Chepid's but I did do kale burps? burps last night, and Tom got a good solid whiff because you blew him in his face directly. I did on purpose, and he fell asleep very quickly. Actually, yeah, I, uh, I knocked I, him out. <laughs> I felt my soul decomposing. Like no joke, disgusting. Chepid has. Rot gut, not rancid burps. Not all the time. I think you might have rot gut from the food you ate last night. No. It yeah. Was just last night. I yeah. Just had some bur- it was like some, something was in it, garlic or something. I don't know what it was. I could see the face of the Grim Reaper. Nathan, my microphone's not peeking, but yours You sure were looking is. in the mirror. Look at Nathan's microphone when he talks. His is really peeking. Hello. I think you got it too close to yourself. Yours sounded like crap last night. Mine was close. It sounded good. Yours was far. It sounded bad. Yeah, but yours is peaking. You're quieter too. I'm a I'm a monster voice. Hello. Let me what move is this it away too? a little Hello? bit. Hello. Okay, now it's just falling over. Hello. I don't know what that does. Okay, the whole mic is just falling over. The, the, welcome to this. Oh, life. great! Oh, welcome to uh, this podcast. Uh, hang on. Ignore this uh, horrible noise you're probably hearing as I twist yeah. this around. The thing came unclamped, Seth. Like. It was just kind of, it was leveraged in there. It wasn't really clean. Okay, I fixed it. There, it's a little farther away. Is that what, what a, what a I mean, pot, it's smaller on the thing, but la, like. La, 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 la. Yeah. It might sound a little airy because it's not right up, up against my lips, my passionate lips. Ships will be clean, though. What did you say? What a nice podcast? I said, what a podcast. This is good. Look at these freaking mic. What a great can't see my light face. bulbs. We have stands. Yeah. We have Apple boxes. I'm. This is a staple of a set right here. This I, wooden box I'm knocking on. I'm quite honestly surprised as to the quality of this. You've got, you have microphones. You have, uh, you have guards. You have a camera. You have two lights. We have a guest. You it's, have a guest. It's a, it's a W-rated guest, but no, no, no. A, a, plus, a W-rated. A, a plus rated uh, guest. Um, what else could you ask? So for? yesterday, also on our walk, we were going pretty strong, and then all of a sudden, and the last like. Seven to ten minutes in the, in the last seventy percent of the walk, no, Tom, Tom no, seemed to die, and he and we stopped in the corner and we're like, "What's your?" We were doing like pain threshold uh-huh. checks, and they go, "Tom, what are you at?" He goes, "Well, I feel like I have ne- knives stabbing into the side of my knees right now." I, and I, and think, I was like, "Haha, it's funny," because I thought he was just saying. It for I said the that I had, I said that I had icy daggers stabbing oh, icy into my daggers knees. Stabbing into my knees, and I thought he was just saying it to be funny. And then we got to the pier, and it has a little bit of a decline to go down the slope. Yeah, that was bad. And he couldn't walk down the slope. It was pretty bad. He just stopped, yeah. and he just was look, looking in a state of confusion because he did like an animal didn't know what to do. My legs stopped working. <laughs> and he just was like, he's like I, "I can't go. I can't walk down this hill. I can't go." And yeah, I, walk down backwards. <laughs> I told him to walk down backwards, and he kind of did that. That, that. that definitely helped. And then Bob got some footage of him, like literally, like. <laughs> have you ever been pushed to your physical limit he like was, that before? Last night. Is that the how? When have you ever been pushed that far? Or is that the farthest you've ever Every day. Yeah. yeah. Every time he wakes up. Every time he wakes up. Every time. Yeah. <laughs> every time Tom wakes up, he goes, "Oh no! Oh, Awake no. again!" <laughs> Another day. Sometimes, no. Sometimes I just let out like uh, I'll, I'll I'll open my eyes slowly, just and then I'll just go. No, uh, a sigh of desperation. <laughs> a sigh of great. A sigh of disappointment. Here we go again. Here we go Another again. day. It's another, another day. I oh, laughed out loud. Last time you came over, you woke up and said, oh, great. Awake again. <laughs> oh, great. Awake again. Yeah. <laughs> and I was under underneath him on the bomb bunk doing the one eye staring at my iPhone because I wasn't fully awake and uh-huh. that's the first thing I hear was oh great awake again. I thought something happened and then followed up by oh. awake again <laughs> give, I, us a, give I, us a time check I was honestly surprised what's it say two minutes two minutes okay you can do it from there eh? oh that's nice go back to so modern technology talk. oh great 17% your phone's gonna die before the timer runs out <laughs> yeah alright the timer you got a couple minutes left and then we'll be cutting we to... Shoot, we got Chepin's special commercial... Not even commercials. Segment it's breaks. A spe- it's a field report. <laughs> field a, report. Uh, field report coming at what, you in two minutes. What's happening this week on the field report? Can oh, you give it? Can you tee it up? It's something that might interest the community. Something that... But, well, what does that mean? It might interest the community. You know, you and your neighbors can partake in this uh, uh, you know, productive and educational uh, uh, UFO activity. Sur- UFO surveillance. 
Not that productive. <laughs> Not that productive. <laughs> so it has to do with living in a neighborhood? It has to do with being part of the community, doing your part. Like, you know, you and your neighbor can have a good time. <laughs> Most people don't like their neighbors. And it also it's something that can uh, you can learn from and something you can stand to profit financially from. Oh, my mm. God. I... I have literally have no idea what it is. I'm excited to see myself. What's it, the clock say? Is it a uh, drilling for oil in your backyard? Your, or neighbor's, your neighbor's backyard. Your neighbor's backyard. One minute. Uh, no, but I would be interested in that. Oh, that's good. I, I think I, I think I'd be interested in that too. I think you should I stop might be a gold now nugget. because it took you a minute to actually start talking after. All okay. right. Or looking for diamonds. We're cutting to the field report. Brought to you live. Brought to you live. We'll be back after this. Trevor Rigsby, reporting to you live. Gonna show you how to make a little cash. I got a donation, an unwilling donation from Tom to make a little money today. Thank goodness that he brings cash what? to this house. What unwilling donation? Oh, from your cancer. Are you getting footage of the warrior? The living warrior? No. Terrifying. He looked terrified. Cashing in. Load it up. Ready to go. A sea of cash in an alternate form. Big money coming up. All right, here we go. I'll give you guys a little behind the scenes. Taking these babies to their new destination. Cashing in. Soon I'll put these in a barrel and then bring them over, they'll weigh them up, and I'll get some cold, hard cash at the cashier's office. Oh yeah, baby. We got six, 15, 16, 17 dollars, and... Awful video. We got 17 dollars and 44 cents from the beautiful recycling situation. Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed that field report to, brought to you specially by Bottles and Cans. Brought to you by Bottles and Cans. That Bottles and Cans. basically was a mini episode of uh, Free Money. It was, it was kind of yeah. like, just like a episode 1B. 1.5. 1.5. If you haven't seen Free Money that was like yet. The, it was like the prototype. Yeah. You should really watch Free Money, but I'm sure all 800 people who watch this podcast have seen <laughs> Free Money. Yeah, if you haven't seen Free Money, it's pretty funny, and pretty funny yeah. Free Money. It's pretty, pretty funny Free Money. It's pretty funny, and it's also free on the internet. It's also so watch free, it. yeah. You, you know, can't lose. This podcast went from being a piece of garbage to a pretty good piece of garbage with <laughs> segments, good audio, guests, a guest, guest. two this guests, like like a Frank every we've episode. Had, we've had the big Frank. Big Bob on. I think we only, we only get one more episode with Frank on the show. Before he gets turned into a glue stick. No. A never, glue stick. Never going to happen. Frank's going to move to Atlanta with his mother. Yeah. That's yeah. Kinda, I've been we'll babysitting, see if he remembers her. Babysitting for a t 10 or 11 months now. Um, yeah. It's kind of sad. Oh, Frankenstein, I love you. Animal, so, animal cruelty is very bad, by the way. I will mention that. Dude. Be nice to all animals. Be nice to all animals. Uh, don't, don't feed them glue. Do not feed them glue. So Tom and I were watching a great movie the other night we want to talk to you about. It's called Career Girls. I heard this movie out of the corner of my ear like the past this two was... days. All I can hear is, I'm in the man. I'm in you. I'm in you. I'm in you. That's what it sounded like. Yeah. So my like, first, a, like a doll. My first, my first uh, comment is, I thought it was awesome. I might that, like, that's, that, I don't that's know the first guy. I thought it was awesome. I might like it. I don't know what it's about. I didn't watch it. I only heard it from I, the other room. It I, was. I thought that the movie was, it was all right. I, I'm I'm quite honestly surprised that it had a Criterion release. I know it, that I that was like I said that was like where are you watching this? And he's like, oh, it's a Criterion movie. And I was like, so many movies like, that what? are Criterion movies you don't expect like Benjamin Button. It's a pretty good movie. I I love it. It's one of my favorites. But I don't think it's a Criterion. Or movie. like. The Rock is a Criterion movie. Where they escape from Alcatraz. Uh, the Rock is oh, they, they go into Alcatraz. With Sean Connery? That's a Criterion movie. That makes no sense. That is yeah. the least Criterion movie of all. It's a cool movie. It's a good action. Yeah, but it's not it's a, a Criterion. Because it has to be like yeah. a decent movie and like well made. They're usually more artistically but that movie, appreciated. Artistic. But Career Girls was a... Indie features I thought it was French cool. films. I thought that girl was cute and I also thought she was like yeah. interesting. That movie she had, looked like, like a Criterion movie to me. 
She had like a, t- a tick I would, or something. I wouldn't something. question that. I'd be like, See, okay. I guess with Criterion. The Rock, no. I always think of Criterion film. Maybe it's just because I know, like, I know that this was a, a, a British, so it was a foreign indie film. But I always picture it being like a little bigger. Like the the Criterion movies that are a little bit bigger. I watch a lot of Japanese movies that have a Criterion release, like all of yeah. the Akira Kurosawa stuff. Mm. That's uh, also all like classic. But it's all cinema. classic. So when I see a movie like this, was like a a, a British made eighties uh, movie. No, it was like two thousand seven. Oh, it felt so eighties. Oh, because it took place it, in the eighties. Yeah, 80s. it flashed back to the eighties. They did a pretty good job making this was it. Two thousand seven. I think it was two thousand seven. No, it was ninety seven. No, it was, too, it was made in 2007, I think. No, this was th- two, this was 97. Well, maybe it was 97. Yeah. It looked pretty authentic 80s. It, it was it was good, but I... One I, of my favorite parts yeah. of it? Well, go ahead. It was, it was, if you see it, it was an interesting film. What's it called again? Career Girls. Career Girls. Um, good indie movie. I, I liked it because... Yeah, it, a good indie movie. I like when it's just about, like, ladies, too. They're just, like, talking and doing stuff. Because you don't see those as often. Well, there was that great uh, there was that great friend of theirs in the movie, too. Uh, the guy that you couldn't understand. Well, a single... Frankie? Yeah, like, Frankie or Victor or something. You couldn't understand a word this character said. I don't understand. I, I thought the movie was really interesting and good because I kind of related to it because it felt kind of like, you know, just, like, outcasts or something. And she had some kind of weird tick or something. Yeah, she kept like she kept going like this, like like she moving has, her head. And she, would, stuff. she would always talk like this, and, and her eyes would always shy. go. She's her, always shaking her head. Her eyes would always go. Yeah, and she'd do like this when she was talking. Yeah, but she didn't. Have, I don't know if she had. T- he fell asleep. She didn't have Tourette's or anything. I don't think. But she later in the later parts of her life, when they would cut to those present times, just smack him. <laughs> Is he actually asleep? I'm exhausted. During those present times, she would have. Uh, she didn't have that tick as much. No, and she didn't. She, she also had some kind of like skin rash. She had like what it was. psoriasis or eczema. But it went away because she wasn't as stressed. I think when she was older. No, and her diet. Like she talks about in the movie, her diet was better. She's like, she's like, oh, uh, she's like, I, I found out my allergies. I just thought it was a really cool movie because it was just such a, a a movie you just don't see very often. Like you don't see a movie yeah. about people who are like outcasts and kind of just strange. Living together and just doing like yeah, day wasn't to day every stuff. every character was pretty unique and strange. Yeah, like right? both of them and the other girl would talk just and she was just like weird. I thought they were it was about a bunch of people who kind of like had mental problems. I thought at first that they yeah. had something going on. The way the guy spoke was like oh he seemed he a definitely slow. had some kind of like um, and then he got like something he he became like without spoiling the movie if you want to see it later in the movie he they found him and he was homeless. No, I don't think he was. I think he was homeless. He was like sitting on the well, street corner. Well, you're the movie. No one is. Well, it's I, like, it's I not guarantee people, no one who watches this podcast has seen this movie. And we're talking about maybe we're talking about in great detail. But if they do watch it, but anyway, What's I thought that? it was a cool movie because it was just so different than normal stuff and like I don't know. What's that other movie that you like with the lady who with the mom who kind of goes crazy and she plays a re- does a really good job of acting? Oh, uh, what the Misery? Columbo's in no, it. No, a woman no, under the influence. Though. One, a woman or woman under the influence. A woman under the influence. That movie's awesome. That lady is such a good actor. The, Columbo's the husband, right? The guy who plays Columbo. Peter Falk or something. Peter, yeah, Peter, Peter Falk. That like, movie is so good. That lady plays is so good at being genuinely like, not crazy, crazy, but like a believable, like kind of mentally, t- just she just loses it. I liked that movie. There was a lot. getting rid of that lip. That's this. That this is a podcast. You're flicking off individual dog hairs from, Frank, no, from Tom's leg. What is this? Aren't you supposed to be reviewing this movie? What that's is that, this? That's a hydration stuff. That's hand sanitizer. Oh. You keep <laughs> hand sanitizer in your pocket at all times? Just in case. In case what? In case you need to sanitize. Doesn't that drive you nuts sitting down with that in your pocket? No. no Not only that. I'll his tell you why. are super tight. I'll tell you why it doesn't bother Tom in his pocket. Because his boxers... He may as well not be wearing them. He may as well put the pants on naked and then just stuff the boxers down all no, around his body. what he should be doing. that's what his boxers do. What he all should be doing. And he does not fix them. He should just be putting a two, like a, he should just take a face towel and just wrap it around his waist because his boxers just go like this when he puts on his pants. They're just up here. Pa- Tom's boxers are enormous. They're not down here where they belong. No, no, no. They're fine. They're Tom's fine. boxers are oh, really so big. They're not boxer briefs. They're just straight up old school boxers. They're, and then yeah, they're, they're he they're puts on skinny boxers. jeans and his boxers all come up here. Perfect. There was a wad. It makes me sick looking at him. Fashion. There was a wad of boxers. I saw the clump and I touched it on his thigh. And I was like, 
please no, no, no. smooth I, I mean, that out. You kind of just live with a wedgie all the time. Here's a question I have for the audience. I genuinely like to know, do most guys or whoever wears boxers put on their pants and then after you put them on, stuff on all sides, all around your whole body, smooth, you them out. smooth out your boxers and push it around so That's, that everything's flat. Because I see people in, in movies, it drives me nuts. So people are like rush, they get dressed, they pull their pants up. I'm like, oh my god, no one has ever in a movie shown the person fixing their boxes, which is such a realistic thing. I'm yeah, sure yeah. some movie. I want to put that in a movie. I point? actually finally watched a movie once where someone was putting on their shoes in a movie after walking around, and they went like this, and they wiped off the bottom of their socks. I do that all the time. Every time I put my shoes I on. Because I do that. I hate when people don't wipe mm. off their socks. You probably don't do that, do you? Wipe off my sock? Before you put your shoes around. on, you do like, like Tom a Tom gets quick dressed wipe. against the wall. No, I just jam my feet in there. So, Tom gets dressed against the wall anyway, so we can That is down so funny when Tom puts his pants and shoes on. He has to back up against the wall. <laughs> That's just for safety. For safety. <laughs> What's going to happen when you put your pants on? You never know. Someone might come up behind you and steal them, so you need to put a wall <laughs> behind no, no, you. No, no. One of the first rules about survival is I, I never want to be exposed. So I have to back up against a solid surface so that somebody can't come up behind me with a chemical agent and try to like dose me or like, something. Like Shane. I don't want that to happen. But then as soon as you walk away from the wall, then they can get you. Oh, speaking of that, I have, I have a good story uh, about the plane on the way over here that I can, that I can tell uh, yeah. I think I told you this oh story. Oh my God, how you said you thought they were going to... Someone, he Let him tell us. Oh, yeah, yeah, so on the, on the way over here on the plane, uh, I ordered, they asked me what I wanted to drink and I ordered a water and a coffee. And the coffee came in just like a cup, two and it, minutes, and it was minutes. like uh, the lid was off, and I really had to pee, but I didn't. I like looked around me, and I was sitting by myself, and they all looked suspicious, and everybody looked suspicious, and I didn't want to leave my drink exposed so that somebody could put a chemical agent in there. Who? I, you know, you sit in that the foil. government. You sit in that foil room way too much now. So what and happened? You dive into conspiracies too much. I, I sat and waited for the coffee to cool off so I could drink the entire coffee before I used the bathroom. You were really afraid to go to the bathroom because you thought. Why don't you just take the coffee happen? with you? Because I'm not going to bring the coffee in a little bathroom. Why? It's fine. Because it's, it's a tiny little bathroom. And it's a smaller cup. Wait, so, so I think it will you have fit. to do all sorts of maneuvers in the bathroom. Like I have to lift. But that's what I'm saying. So you maneuvers. genuinely, Tom, you genuinely were like someone might do that. Yeah, you truly believe this is that the realm of paranoia. You've gone beyond. You are paranoid now. You're in the realm of paranoia. I understand yeah. having the thought of like it enters your head, it's like oh maybe someone drugged me. Okay, I'm acknowledge it. That's crazy. I don't actually act on. That's it. That's why I can't sleep. You on acted plane. on it. That's why I can't sleep in a plane either. Somebody might get me. Get you. Someone might. Who get me? The government. Well, whoever go- whoever might get you on the plane is not going to get off the plane. So you'll be able to find. You'll them. see where you are. <laughs> they'll parachute off if they get you. Not to open the doors. If they get you, you still know where you are. You're on the plane, but you might have been gotten, but at least you still are. Not aware. if they get me because then I'm going to wake up dead. <laughs> yeah, well, to recap, watch Career Women, Career, watch girls. career girls. Thank you for watching the episode. This episode. Don't leave your drinks alone on the plane. Don't do it. And don't walk from Griffith Park to uh, San Los Angeles because you'll yeah. break your knees and Unless have you daggers. Want. No, no, time. my knees are great. Fine. You're tired totally and new. miserable at the end of the trip. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. We'll show, maybe we'll run the credits after this. The credits. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. 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 Bye.